to make a Java project in NetBeans. So first of all, we need to download NetBeans. It's free on its web page. So go there and download. So once we are in NetBeans, we're going to create a new project as a Java application. I'm going to click next, name it as Tutor or whatever name you want to put it to finish now here is where all our code is going so first of all I'm going to show you what to say hello world in Java so we need to go to type system because it's in console in the console of the Java application dot out because it's coming out of the system and print or print -len. The difference between print and print -len is that print -len allows a leave you and space between this link and the next link. So, hello world, world, sorry. And we're going to write. There it is. Hello world. Now I'm going to show you how to declare a variable. So in this case, we are going to use a number. So we use int and a. So a is going to be our variable. To use it, for example, we are going to put a is equal to one plus three. And we're going to show you system dot out dot print ln and a. We run it, and there it is. A it's equal to four. And to view it differently, we're going to put there for suit is um, the plus symbol because with this we're going to say that this is an object and this is an object and uh, we want it to display together and run it and the result is 4 now I'm going to show you how to add ask for a number so going to int and then we need you to a new library but don't worry it means does start automatically so what we need to do is type scanner in this is going to be just a variable to call that library so equal to new scanner System dot okay. And now, as you see, it says that we have error here and here. So we just, oh, sorry. So we just came here and add import to Java Ujo data scan and ultimately imports the library so this can work perfectly. So I type this one. Okay. Alright. Now we are going to say then p it's equal to i n and it's our variable over here dot next int. Uh, that's it. Now we're going to show what the user enter. For that we just type in system system dot out dot print um, and we're going to put B or you enter plus sign and we're going to run it as you see, it didn't end it, so click 
and a going to enter 13 now it says to enter the number 30 okay now we're going to make something a little bit more complex I'm going to show you how to use the if conditional so I need to erase this and we're going to add here system dot out dot no, yeah dot out dot print line uh, into your h okay so here it's going to ask for the h and now we could if uh, there it is so we're going to say if b it's less than 18 it's going to print dot out dot print eleven then you are under under h and because we need to know when the person has more than eighteen so we put else because is this Keep us the if that if the this conditional doesn't accomplish so he, they it's going to make this code so system dot out dot print one it's going to show then you can code for example so we run it and it says enter your age and then type 13 and it says then I'm under age if I run it again and I type 21 it says then I can vote so that's it for today thank you for watching and I hope you learned a lot